Genesis 7 brings to fruition two promises that the Lord made in chapter 6. A coming reckoning, judgment, and destruction, and the Lord's provision, protection, and salvation. We're told in chapter 6 that he would destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die, he said. The earth had become so saturated with corruption and wickedness that mankind as a whole was beyond redeeming. But the Lord also said that he would establish a covenant with Noah and his immediate family. The idea being that they would be saved. So we read in Genesis 7 that the Lord directed Noah, his wife, three sons and their wives into a constructed ark along with a prescribed number of every kind of animal and the Lord himself, verse 16, the Lord himself shut him in or closed the door. The weather, it started getting rough and the gopher ark was tossed. If it weren't for the faithfulness of the Lord, humanity would have been lost. For 40 days, 40 nights it rained, a window of water from the sky. The fountains of the great deep were broken up, a window of water from beneath from the lowest part of the planet to the highest mountain under heaven were covered with water, resulting in the death of every creature with air in its lungs. Just as the Lord promised, judgment came, and just as the Lord promised, provision and protection was made for Noah and his family and a remnant of all living things that breathe the breath of life. Now, how does this apply to you and I in 2022? Pay attention, dial in to me. For today, we find God's creation in similar fashion and form as it was in Genesis chapter 6. A saturation of corruption, evil, wickedness, and self-indulging. The Lord Jesus promises to return and judge the nations. Jesus himself tells us in Matthew 24, for just like the days of Noah were, so the coming of the Son of Man will be. For in those days before the flood, people were eating and drinking and marrying and and giving in marriage until the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing until the flood came and took them all away. It will be the same at the coming of the Son of Man, Jesus said. But equal to this promise of judgment is a promise of provision and salvation. A wooden box gave life to Noah and a wooden cross provides life for us. May we heed the Lord's warning, turn from our self-indulgence and self-trust and instead look to Jesus for his finished work upon the cross satisfies God's wrath and will not only preserve us from God's judgment, but provides us a beautiful relationship with the judge himself. His love for you and I is so high, so deep, so long, so wide, that no flood of judgment will dampen our souls. Friends, you are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.